Hey everybody, it's Grego with a new software demo. You guys have been asking for this and i finally gotten around to put one together. Uh, this is one of the newest pieces of software in the Etsy shop. It is Password Plus. Uh, if you're interested in picking this up, the link is in the description for this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So here we are on the title screen and uh, in order to get things started, uh, it's simply pushing the O key for opening, and this is what it looks like. It's more than password, it's password plus! Well, there you go, you got your animated logo. That was me talking, by the way. The software doesn't actually have my voice in it, so you'll be, you'll be uh, in charge of the voiceover for that. Uh, let's mute the sound. And let's move into the actual game. So hitting the page up key does that. And this is the password puzzle round. As you can see, we've got some animated lights going on the sides there. We can shut that off with the tilde key, like so. And we're ready to begin. Now the software has already loaded in the first puzzle. That's different from the super password puzzle where you've got the super password uh, puzzle loader. Uh, when you move into the screen, it automatically loads in the next puzzle. And that even includes when you're coming back from the alphabetics round. That is a little fix that I did for Password Plus to make it a little easier to run than Super Password. So, uh, when you bring in... It runs the same way as Super Password, but if you're not familiar with that, to bring in each of the five different passwords, it's the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five key. So, the first password for this puzzle, push one, and we get that password. And uh, they go back and forth, pass or play. If someone takes too long to decide pass or play, you can play the buzzer like that. You can also play that when people run out of time. Uh, if someone gives an illegal clue, there you go. Real simple. And if they get it right, then you just simply push the Y key for yes. There you go. And uh, pushing the down arrow will lock that into place. And then if they don't get it, then buzzer will go up. And ready for the next password, push the number two. There you go. And back and forth. Again, thrown out of time. X button, illegal clue, Z button. And uh, eventually they'll get it right. And push the down arrow again, and it'll lock that into place. So we've got eclectic, and we've got musical. You guys figured this out yet? If not, let's put in the third password. We've got that one. And let's say they get that right. And down arrow again, and it locks that into place. And fourth password, push the number four. There we go. I'm sure some of you probably got this puzzle figured out by now. And we'll bring that down, like so. And the fifth and final password. There you go. And lock in the last password. And if they get the puzzle right, it is going to be the shift W key. And whoop, there you go. That's what we were looking for. They might be giants. And using the 9 and the 0 keys credits the score for either side like that. You make a mistake, shift 9, shift 0, and it disappears like that. And there's your puzzle. To load in the next puzzle, hit shift P, and it turns off all the lights, and the next puzzle is loaded in. And we're going to give the next puzzle, I'm going to give you guys a chance to solve it. So here's the first password. And let's put it into place. There you go. And here is the next password. And they get that right. And down it goes. Anybody got it yet? How about on the third password? Yep, there you go. And they get it right. And down it goes. Fourth password. I'm sure you have this by now. And there you go. And let's see if you, I, I'm sure you get it. We're going to go ahead and put it up on the board because I'm sure that you got that it is cats. There you go. All right, we're going to tie the score at $100 a piece. And we're going to load in the next puzzle. Now, this is the puzzle that someone will win the game on. Uh, incidentally, the score only increments by 100, so it's up to you to do the score incrementing like that. I did that for simplicity's sake. Plus, you know, you might want to play with different rules. So, there you go. Uh, here is the third and final puzzle that is in this demo uh, for you. Here's the first password. And we'll lock that into place. 
The next password, again, the number two brings up that one. Haha. -ha. Slide that into place. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens here on a game solve. Notice the whole thing is going to slide down. There it is. And we'll go ahead and put a score over here, and we can make it flash like that with the greater than sign. Left, uh, less than sign will flash the left score. And to play a little music, the M key, to go into the commercial. So there you go. Incidentally, if you want a little intro music, that's in here too. The I key. There you go for introducing your contestants. And so on. So, that is the main game. And now let's bring it into alphabetics. So, hit the page up key again, and we are in alphabetics. There is the alphabetics game board. To open it up, we push the O key, and it'll open it up. There you go. So there's the alphabetics board, all flashy and nice. And the music will calm down, and we can turn off the board animation with the tilde key, like so. And then to bring in the 10 letters, it is Shift L, just like in the Super Password software. And here's how it looks coming in. There you go. And then the 60 second clock with the C key. Again, just like Super Password there. And uh, to bring in the first password, uh, it is the F key. And there you go. And to start the clock again, it is the C key. So we'll do that. And as people are getting the passwords right, it's the Y key for that. Uh, you can hit, hit the Z key for an illegal clue. In, al in uh, alphabetics in Password Plus, that doesn't do anything other than reduce the winnings. So it just leaves the software right where it is and you continue on that word. If you pass, you hit the space bar and notice the B is still up there. So if you get the C right, hit the Y key again. Notice the B key is still up there. And we go through, they get the D, they get the E, they skip, they pass on the F. Notice the F is still up there. They get G, they get H, they get I, they get J. And that goes back to B, as you can see. And they're still passing on that, so we go back to the F. And again, it's still there. They get the F, F right, and then they get the last one right. The software automatically knows that it's 10 out of 10. There you go. And it starts to animate everything again. And again, you can hit the M key for some outro music. There you go. And that is how the alphabetics runs. All right, we're going to shut the music down. And from this point, we'll go back to the opening screen, which is also the ending screen. So you can animate it just the same way as you did the opening to play your end music. So there you go. The software can take 15 puzzles worth of information, uh, which are all loaded in with text files like most of my other software, and up to four bonus games can be loaded in. And whenever you go from the main game to alphabetics, it automatically loads in the next bonus game. When you go back from alphabetics to the regular password round, it automatically loads in the next puzzle. So you don't have to worry about any of that. The software does it automatically for you. Uh, if you're interested in this software, you just need a Windows operating system uh, and uh, something to display it on. It's very simple. No buzzers are required for this game and it just runs in any Windows uh, operating system that Adobe Flash is available for. Uh, so there you go. That is how it works. Again, the link in the, is in the description if you're interested in picking up this software. Uh, thanks very much for watching this demonstration, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, and bye for now.